All right, this is gonna be a one take video of the Mystery Ranch Unicorn uh, 2.0. This is replacing my current everyday carry bag, which is a London Bridge Trading 14 liter day pack. This is a 22 liter bag, so it's a little bit bigger. It doesn't feel a whole lot bigger, but it's supposed to be. So anyways, the bag comes with uh, the Futura harness that Mystery Ranch offers on a lot of their bags. It has an adjustable yoke, uh, extremely over engineered, but it's extremely comfortable to carry uh, a lot of weight over a long period of time. Outside pockets, there's two exterior pockets on both sides. These are supposed to be your water bottle pockets, I guess. Anyways, they zip open like this. On the inside, there's some organization. There's a little shove it pocket right here. There's a zipper pocket and then some other little uh, organizer pockets. So I've just got a um, titanium spoon in here to take to work. These pockets are okay. The biggest gripe with these pockets is that whenever you go to throw a water bottle or anything in these pockets, it really pushes into the bag and eats up a lot of the interior space on the bag. This is a Nalgene 40, 46 or 48 liter water bottle. These will fit in these pockets. It's a little tight. Normally I don't struggle this much. I also have the bag pretty packed out, so. Anyways, 48 liter Nalgene will fit. It's, it's extremely tight if you have a stu stuff in the bag. If you don't have anything in the bag, uh, it will fit in there a little bit easier because I've done it before. Anyways, um, 18 liter or 18 ounce Yeti Rambler, I think, with the thermos lid on there. It's a little bit thinner, about the same height. It will also fit pretty well. It's also tight. These are probably the two biggest water bottles that I own, so I'm just happy that they fit. Here's a regular 32 ounce Nalgene. Obviously it will fit. And you have a little bit of room to spare on the, either the bottom or the top if you wanna shove some other stuff down in this pocket. This is a Joby, I wanna say it's a Gorilla Pod 3K maybe. I really don't know. It's, it's a pretty standard size Joby tripod that a lot of people out there use. It will fit inside the pocket, not a problem. And one more thing, this is a sit pad. It's a Thermarest, I think it's a Z-seat is what it's called. Um, it's pretty standard size for these sit pads. They're all very similar, but this will go into the pocket and it's actually a little bit too tall, but I think that it would probably ride just like that, no problem, and I wouldn't have any issues with it falling out. So I would call that a win. All right, other pocket, exactly the same. Uh, I don't have anything in here right now, but it's basically a mirror of the other side. So you can use those however you'd like. A ton of different things you can do with them. The top pocket, oh, uh, up top I have a, this is just a Microbat Systems. It's actually a counterweight pouch that goes on the back of a helmet. I'm using it for just Sharpies and pins, but anyways. There's a big admin style pocket up top. Plenty of room to put stuff in. I've got some sunglasses, some carabiners, and there's a key lanyard in there as well as another pocket that's zipped open. I've got just some gum, a speaker, headlamp. But really happy with that top pocket. And it's also pretty easy to get to when the bag is stuffed out, which is something that I don't like about a lot of other bags where when you pack the bag out completely, the admin pocket's so hard to get to, it's almost unusable. All right, so uh, before we go to the inside of the bag, I'll show the beaver tail, which is 
one of the bigger selling points to me for this bag. It zip, it's got a storage spot right here. You just unzip it and pull it out. And when you're done with it, you just tuck it back in there and zip it up. This is the beaver tail. It's got two G hooks. The G hooks hook into these two little loops that are made into the bag and kind of hidden away. Looks really nice. There's a bunch of things you can do with this. Um, you can use it to stuff a jacket, some shoes, yeah, flip-flops if you're at the beach or whatever, whatever you want to use it for. This is a uh, Patagonia 70 liter duffel bag in its carry-in bag or stowed in its uh, uh, stowed, stowed bag. I don't know what it's called. Anyways, put the beaver tail over top of that. Get it hooked up, push it down in place, and you can carry something like this. If you need to carry a duffel bag or uh, another bag that's just wadded up, or you can take a dry bag and fill the dry bag full of contents and stuff the dry bag down in this beaver tail. Works out really well. I love seeing stuff like this on bags. Something else, this is a uh, ballistics helmet. This is a just an OpsCore fast, uh, fast SF helmet. Beaver tail goes over the helmet. And the G-hooks are surprisingly easier to hook up than I thought, because a lot of G-hooks can be a pain sometimes. Straps right into the bag. And now you have a helmet that you can carry if you've got night vision or um, whether it's airsoft, whatever you're doing. When you're done with the beaver tail, you just take this and fold it up, shove it back in the pouch, and you're done with it. And now you're back to having a slick bag. I love that feature and I feel like I'm probably gonna use it quite a bit. Getting in, into the main part of the bag, the top opens up, it's a tri-zip, just like a lot of the other Mission Ranch bags. Uh, works great. There's mesh in the top, so you can see into the admin pocket up top. I'll open the front zipper up. In here, there are two mesh pockets on top, so it's probably you know, you could fit a phone or it's, they're pretty decent pockets. So you could fit a good bit in there. I've just got a, a Magpul DACA organizer. This is just a bag with like toiletries, some um, wet wipes, hard uh, peppermints, ibuprofen, a toothbrush, and some spare deodorant I carried around with me. I need to um, go through there and make sure everything's in date. But this is a Spirit of Systems fanny sack. I think it's the Mark II. I really don't know what it's called. In here, I just carry medical. So I have a smaller medical kit that has basically everything I need and a small tourniquet, which is made by... Snake Staff Systems. Really small tourniquet and great price. In the front of this bag, I just have a spare Glock uh, 17 mag, some Leatherman shears, and another full-size cat tourniquet. And this bag stays with me and goes from bag to bag wherever I'm, wherever I'm going. I have some tuna, and I usually just keep snacks in my work bag, but this is the end of the week, so this is what I have left. This is a, another small little pouch that just has some spare, a spare knife, um, some little mini channel locks, and a, and a clean knife to eat with, because everybody needs a good eating knife in their bag. 
I have a spare change of socks, which I usually have on me, and a rain jacket or some sort of outer shell. I might alternate between a wind layer or a rain layer, just depending if I know the weather, but nine times out of 10, a rain layer is the go-to. So that's the inside of the bag. Not very spacious, but I don't want too big of a bag because the more bag I have, the more tendency I have to just fill it with stuff I don't need. And I'm carrying around a bunch of stuff every day that's just weighing me down. This is the, it has a laptop sleeve on the inside of it. And on the side of these, this, these sleeves are these little elastic straps. And on one side, I just have a dry bag stuffed in the elastic straps just rolled up and stuffed down in there. This is a Sea to Summit window dry bag. These things come in handy. You can fill them with stuff and then take the dry bag filled with all your stuff and stuff it back inside the bag in the main compartment if you, if, you, know, if you need to. Or you can fill it with stuff as you go along or as you go throughout your day. And then you can take it and do like I said earlier and just stick it to the beaver tail on the outside of the pack and then take it back. Take it back home with you. The laptop sleeve works pretty good. I don't use it for a laptop. I actually use it for an iPad. So here's my iPad and it works great. I, use, I probably won't get the iPad through the, the inside of the main compartment like this a lot because there's actually a sleeve on the side. And I've seen a lot of people complaining about the access or the accessibility of this uh, uh, slit in the pot or in the bag, but maybe that's just for a big laptop because I've not had any issues with this smaller uh, iPad. I don't know. I think it's a nine inch, ten inch. I really don't know, but it just comes in and out of that just just fine, even when the bag is stuffed out. So it's a good spot to just be able to grab it on the go and not have to dig through the rest of your bag to get to it. But yeah, that's the bag. Um, so far I like it. Not many complaints aside from my biggest complaint being when you fill the water bottle pockets, it pushes inside the bag and there's no room on the inside of the bag after you've filled the side pockets. But we can work around that and I think it's going to be a pretty good bag for me. And I will stay updated or keep you guys updated in the future and I'll let you know if I wind up doing any modifications to this bag. And yeah, I think that's all I had over here. So thanks for watching.